Today is the big day or the big days uh, might take the weekend. We have finished the kitchen for the wooden parts uh, with the top boards, our compartments, the strap under. It's been all these days, the last week, uh, small details to fix, but it turned out very, very good. And we used this OSB, very good material to uh, cover. We are gonna apply the micro cement now. Yes, um, someone is already super excited about super it. Super excited. As you know, we are working with Caramend and they have micro cement packages and they are made to really like DIY. All the components in there, all the things, the tools that you need and you can just like put the micro cement, which is this magic uh, cement concrete material basically on all surfaces. We showed you before, but we're gonna show you again in case you missed it. They have a lot of different colors and here we got some test samples and we decided to go with the lightest color. This is not the lightest one that they have, but it's the lightest sample that we got. And it's the number 60. It's very light gray, but I feel like it has a little touch of beige and also so it doesn't get too cold. So this is what we're gonna have now everywhere. And I'm very nervous, but I, yeah, we just hope it turns out well. The only thing I'm a bit scared about is that the wood, these uh, drawers are too light with this concrete. But the thing is, we do this now, and if we see that it is too light, we can use oil these again and make them a bit darker. So it's not a big problem. It's gonna be a few steps that we have to go through and uh, see how that goes. I'm gonna show you what we have and what we're gonna work with. So this is like a complete set from Calament, everything you need. This is the cement powder that we have to mix with the resin. And then we have the micro cement. But before we do that, we actually have to put some tile glue on here, just to even it out so that we really don't get any structure. And then comes the base, which is this, the Halfgrundierung, all over so that the micro cement gets stuck very well. And then we have the top coat. Wish us good luck! Oh yeah, so this one is the, the guy that we're gonna use. It's a French spatula I learned today. Floor is covered, ready to do the first mix of tire glue. starting a lot already to look like also here all the wooden boards have turned concrete boards sidewall looking good and the final board it's taking a while so i guess tomorrow we will do the micro cement okay now we are gonna put the primer then we have to let it dry for at least six hours we're gonna pour it in here let's see how this goes whoa Good morning! Now it's the second day that we're working on this. Yesterday, as you saw, we put the tile glue all over. Then we let it dry, sandpapered everything. And then we put the primer, which had to dry for six hours. So they've all been drying here, laying all over the place, ready to be covered with the micro cement. I'm uh, very positive. Yeah. I'm excited. Here you can see they are all drying the other top board, the side wall and the bottom. So now, uh, today uh, is the day of two layers of micro cement. Let's mix it now. 0.25 liters or kilograms of resin, it's a special liquid, goes with one kilo of powder. So the mix is done, looks very nice. This you have to use within 45 minutes and Jax is gonna do that right now. Yes! Let's do it. I'm kind of nervous. It's actually not so hard. It's very easy. This works really well with paste. 45 minutes to an hour after Jack supplied the first layer. Now it's going to be the second round. Okay, now boxes. Easy peasy. It sticks on super easy. Really, it's easy to form. Because what most people don't know, Jax 
uh, used to be a professional bricklayer. Exactly. In her former life. <laughs> what my life is about right now. I think this is absolutely phenomenal. Day three. Yesterday was a another long night finished all the micro cementing yes. two layers the boards look incredible already yeah now they've been drying they have to dry for 24 hours and now we are gonna sandpaper them with the machine sandpaper day and uh, the day of the first uh, ceiling coat we have to do everything today so that we can finish it tomorrow with the second and last sealer this is now dry and it's all covered with two coats. It already looks beautiful. We get these concrete typical patterns from the spatula, but you can kind of put your hand over this and you don't feel any roughness or anything. I love this structure. So we're using the this little vibrating machine and it's recommended to use a paper strength 120 to 150 and we have the 120 and it works amazing. Okay, professor, what are we learning today? It's time for the first top coat, the first sealer. Component A and B and these two are gonna be mixed together. Roll it on! Apparently it will make it a bit shiny, but then with the second coat it makes it matte again. Matte and rough. Seems like this is gonna be another all-nighter. Saturday night, we're gonna seal all the boards. See you tomorrow. Day four. It's been some days, but today is the last day. Mixing the last top coat and we have to wait six hours for this to dry and then hopefully we can put it up tonight already to see how it looks like day five the kitchen is put together and we love it. this is how it looks like now we still need to like really tighten it screw it together and everything so it's still a bit like, you know. What do you think? This is caramel number 60. You can see here the structure. I really like it. I was a bit scared that we had too many like scratches, but now when you see it like this, I really like it because I wouldn't want it to be completely plain. But it is very, very soft. It has like nothing coming out, you know? I'm especially happy with the boxes. I think these turn out really, really nice. Here we're gonna have plates and bowls and all that things. If you do close, it looks really, really beautiful, I think. And it fits really well with the boxes, with the wood here. I mean, I'm very, very happy with our work here. I think it turned out exactly how we wanted it to be. I love how the wood and the concrete works together. We need, of course, to put the tiles and put everything to give this a little life, because now it's just completely plain. There's nothing happening here. But with all our tools and accessories, I think this will be perfect. These are the tiles that we're gonna use, you know, here, like this. They are a bit uneven and nice, which shows the white ones in the end. So this is our next project now. This was a very, very uh, exciting project. And a hard project, but it was huh? fun. Good yeah. job, Jax. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't done much. No, yes. you did a lot. You, you built the whole kitchen anyways. Yeah! Yeah!